Oh shit. I forgot that I'm doing a uh, close. Feel me, I swear you gotta feel me before they try and kill me. They gotta make some choices, they run it out of options. Cause I've been going off and they don't know when it's still back. No, the trash me is really still the real me. I swear you gotta feel me before they try and kill me. They gotta make some choices, they run it out of options. Cause I've been going off and they don't know when it's still back. Hey guys, I know it's been a long time coming, but I'm finally back. And today we're gonna be doing a review on Eula hair. So far, they got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. The hair is soft. The hair is bouncy. I barely put that much oil in there. I put a little bit of silk serum in there just to give it that little shine. And the curls so far are holding very well. The hair is amazingly soft and the shedding, honestly, I ran my fingers through it a couple times. I only got like, this is, all right, this is the fourth strand. Don't know if you can see that. You probably can't, but this is the fourth strand of hair that fell from this wig. And the wig is really full. It is a 22 inch body wave here that I curled. And yeah, I love it. If you're interested on how to purchase this hair, how to customize this hair, how to style this hair and install this hair, stay tuned to my video. Okay, so now let's get into this video, Eula hair. So now I'm gonna start unpackaging the hair and they sent me this dark ass cap, like really? But anyways, no offense to my dark skins, I love you guys. But I'm just saying like, come on, y'all done saw my picture, y'all see what I look like, come on. But anyways, that's the tail comb and then this is the wig. Look how fine those knots are. Usually when I get wigs, I love when the knots are so fine because it's easier to bleach, easier to pluck, easier to melt. And then look how full the wig is. This is a five by five, 20 inch closure wig. But it was a little longer than 20 inches. It gave like 22-ish, 23 and a half. I measure it. Yep, yep, I measure it. And look, the lace, the parting space was beautiful. It was deep. It was nice. And when I'm bleaching my knots, I like to go in with a spatula because when you use a brush, it kind of seeps through the lace a little bit and it starts to bleach the actual hair. And I'm not trying to walk around with no blonde hair unless I wanted blonde hair. You feel me? So you want to get a spatula. You want to go ahead and take your time and smooth it in. Do not smudge it. Again, no smudging. You are not buttering bread. And you're not putting cream cheese on a bagel. You want to take your time and lightly just fluff it on there. Take your time. Go ahead. Make sure that when you're mixing the cream, the powder, and the, um, you know, the developer, you want to make sure that the texture is not too crunchy like not too i want to say cakey you want it to be like smooth like whipped cream and so you can just like fluff it on and you don't got to worry about plastering it in and making a mess everywhere and bleaching your actual wig blonde So when you are done, this is exactly what it should look like. You know, you could go over any little spots that you see that you can add a little more bleach. Don't press too hard. Again, I stress, I cannot stress this enough. Don't press too hard. You're going to be mad. So this is what it's going to look like when everything is perfectly properly bleached. It should look like skin. And we're going to go ahead and start prepping the actual skin. You want to use some um, skin protectant. I have Erica J skin protectant, but you can use any brand that you prefer. And I'm going in with some glue now. And you want to go in with thin layers. You want to smooth it down. Put some on the cap and smooth it down to where you want your wig your front to your closure, whatever, whatever you want um, the closure to stop and lay, that's where you're going to bring it down to. So you want to go ahead and smooth it out. Thin layers, I used about five layers. You don't have to use so much if you don't want to, but if you want to for extra security, go ahead and use more than three layers and smooth it out really, really thin so that it could lay very flat and seamless and you won't see any white. No, no little bumpy, bumpy stuff showing. None of that. And in order to know that the that the um glue is dried and ready for the lace to be applied, there it will be clear as day as you saw here. Y'all like my makeup? I beat my face myself. I was trying a little ting. I was trying a little ting. And I said, you know, what? let me give y'all a little. Let me give y'all a show. Let me give y'all a show. I haven't seen y'all in mad long. Let me come on here looking good. I beat my face. I did my little one two one two step. Don't really know what I'm doing, so don't come for me in my eyebrows or whatever you see. That probably doesn't look the best. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a hairstylist, though. Okay, bookie, save it. 
So after you lay the back part of the lace, anything that's in the front that you didn't get to lay in one shot, you want to go ahead and apply some more glue. Again, thin layers. You can use about two here, like two thin layers here. Make sure it dries very clear. And then go ahead and take the back of your rat tail comb and just press it right on into the glue. Press the lace right into the glue. So you didn't need to pluck it with this wig in particular. Eula here, they sent me a pre-plucked wig, which is amazing. They saved my life. I didn't have to do anything really but bleach it. But I went ahead because who am I if I don't pluck my wigs? I have to pluck my wigs. Like, I want it to look a little extra natural. But if you don't want to and you like how it looked before I plucked it, then you don't have to. I just barely went in and just plucked a few hairs out. So now I'm just applying my wax stick and using my hot comb. And we get into work. We get into work. The rest of the video is really self-explanatory. So I'm going to shut up now and let you guys sit back and watch because I talk a little bit too much sometimes. So let me explain to you what I'm doing right here. If you want your baby hairs to fall like how you saw in the very beginning of this video when I was doing my introduction, you want those swiggly like curve shaped baby hairs. You have to part the front of your lace in like a U shape. Like you have to curve it as you see I'm doing here. You're going to curve it. You're going to go ahead and use your hot comb and straighten it out. Then you're going to cut it down to like a medium short length. You don't want to cut it too, too short because you don't want it to be like little tiny bangs. So you want to cut it to like a nice little medium short length. And then you're going to go ahead and use a mini hot, um, what you call it? What you call it again? My fault. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit this part. I want you to see how raw I am and how real I am. Because I'm human and I forget things too. I'm not perfect. But you're going to use a mini flat iron. There we go. Use a mini flat iron and you're going to curl it under or over it doesn't matter you can curl it anywhere you want you can curl it under you can curl it over so you're gonna go ahead and curl it and i went in with some got to be glue gel but you can use anything you want i prefer gel rather than like edge control or stuff like that because when oil too much oil gets into like the lace with the glue it will start to turn white or it will lift and cha-cha slide and we don't want no wig cha-cha sliding when you outside with your boo so you want to go ahead and use gel because you could easily just blow dry it and the gel will set and make everything stiff and nice. But not a bad stiff. Not a bad stiff. A good stiff. Like it will just make it tight. It will set everything and just look way better than oily ass baby hairs. I'm going to tell you that right now. Then you want to go ahead and just start curving and swoop de duping. Curve, swoop de doop. Curve, swoop de doop. Just curve and go. You don't gotta just, just watch what I'm doing. I, like That's the best I can explain it. You want to curve it, rub it, and swoop it on in. Brush the little ends and hide it right into the lace if you have a frontal on. Or right behind, like right under the little, little wig area if you have on a closure wig. And that's it. That's it. And that is how you do baby hairs, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.
wow hair is the finishing look this hair is beautiful it is so shiny it is so bouncy it is so soft it is so vibrant it just gave summertime it gave girly girl like sometimes you gotta put the 30 inches to rest like you can always be a baddie but you want to be a classical baddie sometimes sometimes you just gotta be like you know what let me do some short hair but not too short and give it some curls and look this is one of the best wigs i've ever had and I'm going to continue getting, like, these lengths and this type of hair from Eula Hair because, honestly, I loved it. I loved it. Everybody loved it. It was a showstopper. And I'm just doing my thumbnail fix here. Don't mind me. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, guys. So, I hope you liked this video. Please do not forget to check out the description box on how to purchase this hair. The link will be in there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We are all about uplifting each other, promoting each other, sharing each other. If you are doing YouTube videos and you got a video you want me to comment, share, like, and subscribe, drop it in the comments. Let me know. And let me know if you want to see more of these videos. Let me know what else you guys want to see from me. Do you want a more detailed and more in-depth video? Do you want a plucking video? Do you want to know how to make a wig? I do it all so just go ahead flood my comment area and let me know anything any questions anything you guys want to know i will see you guys soon later